What's going on, guys? I am Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. I want to talk about this Jalen Ramsey, Golden Tate situation. Apparently, they got into fisticuffs uh, after the game um, between their uh, teams. And it has a lot to do with what has happened in the past. Now, I did a whole video on it. Now, this is the video I did about Jalen Ramsey uh, leaving Golden Tate's sister. And this is his sister. This is Golden Tate's sister. Now, Jalen Ramsey has children with her. He actually left her while she was pregnant to get with this female, who he eventually ended up breaking up with. But that's the genesis of where everything was, right? And it led to things subtly being said here and there, mainly by Golden Tate. And what happened on the field happened, you know? This is the video here. Or I don't know if play because I don't want any issues. But I'll just put all this in the description box. Y'all can go and check it out. Uh, but I spoke about this, man, and I talked about Jalen Ramsey. The way that he left the sister wasn't right. I'm not saying it was right, but we don't know what went on in that relationship. We just don't. We don't know how they felt about each other. We don't know... Yeah, the situation just was was over while she was pregnant. We know that there are times where women will break up with dudes while they're pregnant. Uh, so we don't know. Now, maybe Golden Tate knows more than other people. Maybe he, Jalen Ramsey, and, and I truly believe Jalen left because he wanted to leave. And that decision came back to bite him. One, because he ended up breaking with the other female. And two, he got into it with, and now, and people are saying, now this is according to Golden Tate's coach. He's saying he saw Jalen Ramsey throw the first punch. And Jalen is an agitator. And, you know, Golden has been talking. Golden ain't the type to hold his tongue. Wouldn't surprise he did throw the first punch. You know, wouldn't surprise at all. But let's get to this article from the NY Post. All right. So the bad blood between wide receiver Golden Tate and cornerback Jalen Ramsey came to a boiling, boiling point Sunday after the final whistle of the New York Giants Los Angeles uh, Rams game. Ramsey and Tate came to blows at SoFi Stadium on Sunday after the Rams topped the, Vi uh, the Vikings, the Giants 17 to 9. The scuffle stems from family drama involving Tate's sister and Ramsey's former girlfriend, Brianna Tate. Taken to Instagram on Monday, the mother of Ramsey's two young daughters shared an emotional passage about faith. Here we go with the religion. Listen, I understand there are people out there that are religious. There are people out there who feel the need to give a word of encouragement. But um, I don't know, man. This is like a recurrent thing, women. I don't know what it is. It's like they, when things go left, here we go with the... Um, Again, it's a good thing. Listen, she seem to she don't seem to be bitter. She doesn't seem to be in a bad mind state. Maybe she was, but maybe she's moved on. I'm sure she has moved on. But Golden Tate has not. Uh, he still ha has some some raw feelings towards him. You know, he says, "God, thank you for being my strength when sometimes it's hard to even stand. You pick me up." Give me courage to keep going. You empower me to handle every circumstance, knowing that I can trust you. May I refuse to worry about the things I can't control and keep my focus on you. The message read, shared on Tate's Instagram story from the Live Deeply Rooted account. Uh, let's see. An Ole Miss alum and former track star Brianna was in a long-term relationship with the 25-year-old Ramsey, who reportedly left her for a Las Vegas dancer last summer. She was pregnant at the time. In October of 2019, Ramsey went public with new gal pal Monica on social media. When a fan responded to an article detailing Ramsey's love life, a fired-up Tate replied, he know he gonna have to see me. Tate also addressed the tense situation uh, with the post last fall. I'm not happy at all with the disrespect that he's shown towards my sister and the things he's done in the past, Tate said at the time. Despite the public spat between her brother and ex, Brianna's focus is on her baby girls recently uh, celebrating Brooklyn's first birthday. 
All right. It's been a whole year since God blessed me with my two princesses. Today is all about you, beautiful, happy first birthday, Brooklyn Ella or Elia. She shared on Instagram last month. In addition to posting adorable photos of the young girls growing up, Brianna shares images, her stunning fashions, including a bikini shoot from early September. Life is everything it should be. Brianna captioned a summer shot while modeling denim cutoffs and a crop top. And that's all I'm reading on that because I'm not going to get into that. But um, listen, it seems like she's in a good space. And what Golden Tate needs to do, and again, we're we're hearing it that, you know, Golden that that Jalen Ramsey threw the first punch. I, I would not doubt it. J- Jalen is very emotional. So it would not surprise me if he did. If he did, if Golden retaliates, it's because of what he did. Now let's get into this TMZ article real quick. Los Angeles Rams star Jalen Ramsey was so heated after brawling with NY Giants wide receiver Golden Tate on Sunday. He reportedly waited outside the locker room after the game for round two, which means that Golden may have gotten the best of him. <laughs> he may have gotten the best of him. Yeah, these guys really don't like each other. Here's the deal. Right after the Rams defeated the Giants on Sunday, Ramsey and Golden got into a straight-up fist fight at midfield. Ramsey and Tate... Really don't like each other. And Ramsey used to date Golden's sister and has two kids with her. But the couple went through a public breakup last year. And after the split, Golden accused Jalen of not treating his sister well. And as you can see, that's his response there. Listen, I know Golden is trying to be a big brother. But you got to let your sister handle her own business, bro. Now, again, if Jalen, and according to the New York Giants head coach, Joe Judge, Jalen threw the first punch. If he did, he deserves to get smacked in the face if that's what happened. Because if he's looking for round two, it, it leads me to believe that Golden got the best of him. Okay, Golden is a, is a, is a scrappy dude. I think Jalen's a little bit taller than him, but you know, uh, Golden is a scrappy dude. Now, he may have gotten the best of him, okay? Because it's always the dudes that, that, you know, once you get the better of them, they want to come back for more, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but see, you can't be talking all that. Now, again, he may have backed up because you, you look at the scrap here that is going on here. I'll tell you the background. You see what's going on here. Something going on at the bottom of that pile. <laughs> and Jalen might be getting all he can handle. Fast forward Sunday afternoon at SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, and Jalen saw Golden all right. After the Rams finished beating the Giants 17-9, to Tate and the Rams reportedly threw haymakers at each other in a wild Brawl for it all at the 50-yard line. That, of course, ignited an all-out brawl with players of both teams getting into it. They said, F COVID. <laughs> F the CV. <laughs> listen, man. Listen. <clears throat> listen, man. I hope they can get over it because it seemed like the sister has moved on. If the sister has moved on, these two grown men need to move on, man. Listen, man, your sister chose to be with them. It didn't work out. They have two daughters together. You know, they need to let this go. Jalen got to let this go, man. But again, Golden was talking big. Golden was talking big. And I think Jalen wanted to test him. And maybe he got the better of, of Jalen. Maybe a clear video will come out. Honestly, I just think these guys need to be adults and just handle this thing, hash it out like men. Don't be getting into no emotional scraps, man. His sister is, his sister, now again, he could be, his sister could be feeding him information and publicly saying one thing because she doesn't want to get on Jalen's bad side, but she's also feeding him information of things that may have been going on in that relationship that caused, that has caused Golden Tate to feel the way he feels. That's wrong because if I'm publicly defending you and you're publicly not defending yourself, then, then what am I doing? Then it's best for me to just back up and just let her handle her own situation with him. You know, that'll be the best thing uh, to be done. <clears throat> so we got the rest of this. But after the game, Rams reportedly waited uh for round two with the Giants star, ESPN report the defensive back lingered outside the Giants locker room after the uh, situation to try to get another piece. The two, however, did not ultimately meet up again for a second go round. 
Neither coach Sean McVay nor Giants coach Joe Judge had too much to say about the incident. I don't know all the details, Joe told reporters, but I'm going to reserve comment. Well, he actually, there was an ESPN article where he talked about how he saw what happened in Jalen, you know, and that's according to ESPN. I don't, I don't have the article here. Um, I was just showing the ones that matter. Maybe I can go and get it. But basically, Joe Judge is saying something else. So, Joe Judge, which one is it? <laughs> you know, uh, did you see something or did you not see something? But I ultimately think these guys need to hash it out. They need to come to an understanding and, and not get into it like this because ultimately they both pretty much need to, to move on from this. They got to let this go. They do. But we all know you got two guys who are a bit on the emotional side who are going to let their emotions get the better of them, which they shouldn't do. They should not do that because all it's going to do is take away from them and, and get them in more trouble than, than, needs, than needs to be. Now, here's the article here. New York Giants believe Los Angeles Rams cornerback Jalen Ramsey uh, threw the first punch. And this, let's see. New York uh, Giants coach Joe Judge believes it was Jalen Ramsey who threw it, even though he had just said <laughs> that he has no clue. He didn't got details. You got details now. But we can all make our own judgments. I think these guys need to just let this thing go before it festers into something that could get out of control. You know, go and let your sister handle that. If she's feeding you information, she's totally wrong. And I'm not saying Jalen Ramsey is a saint, but again, he left her and it was a wrong decision because they ended up breaking with the other girl. A lot of th these guys are young. You know, Jalen is young. He's a young guy. He's 25. He's still a young guy. He's learning. Hopefully he gets things together and hopefully they can work it out. But you just never know, you know.